Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15 BS011 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the RAM on this model. This applies for any HP 15 BS series laptop. So if you want to upgrade the RAM, if it comes with a 4 gig or 8 gig and you want to pump it up a little bit, this video is for you. All right, I'm going to keep this video really short and quick. So first thing first, you want to power up the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. You want to grab your swap a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as always. And we're going to be using a bit number one Phillips. I love this screwdriver set because of the metals. The bits are made of S2 class steel. They're really tough in steel. All right, also you will need a opening tool. For the opening tool, you can get the pro set for this screwdriver set, or you can simply go grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable for this job. All right, first thing first, at the bottom cover, we're gonna remove the battery by pulling this trigger to an unlock position, just like that, as you have to see this unlock icon right here with a lock that is open. And the other trigger, you wanna slide it and then Pull out the battery while you're sliding it. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws, two screws under the battery, one hidden right in the middle, two on the side, and one in the middle. Go ahead and remove all these screws. They're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realize there is only one person of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys want to support the channel and if you find my content useful, you can just click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. It will be a great support. Now, what we want to do, there's another four hidden screws, one on under each rubber legs right here. The screws are only in the front portion on the tip of the rubber legs. So just lift up the front tip a little bit, just like that, and you will see the screws. Again, these screws are the same as the rest of the cover. So go ahead and remove these screws from here. The screws, there's a tiny one at the back too. I use my fingers. You can use the guitar pick to lift up this rubber. You can try use a magnet to pull them up faster. All right. Now that we remove the screws, watch. What you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that. All the way in as far as it goes about two or three millimeters and then you want to flip it over to the outside and you want to hit those clicks. Don't worry you're not breaking it just want to flip it like that. Do every one centimeters. Do that to the sides all the way back to the corner but near the hinges right there. Do the same thing on the left and right side. All right, once you did that, now close down the screen. Now, back here, there's uh, two fragile clips here. Don't worry if you break these two, it's nothing's gonna happen. You can't just simply lift it up here, otherwise you're gonna break them. You can help it out on this side a little bit. You can release these two triggers here and here. But be careful with these ones. To release these ones here, you want to grab the cover by the corner where you have the SD card reader right here. So left, grab the cover, see? And put your finger right on the hinge, lift it up a little bit, and then bring it, I'm bringing it towards the battery side. Once I bring a little bit towards the battery, look, you can release these two uh, clips. You, now once these two release, simply just lift it up, wiggle it around, and you release the rest. And there we go. You can see them, there's a two dim uh, on this laptop. You can add an extra uh, RAM right over here. To remove the RAMs, all you have to do, to remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart, and the RAM should come out. Let me help it out come out in 45 degree angle just like that. 
Once it's up, you just want to grab it in the same direction. Don't yank it upward, otherwise you're going to break the dim. You want to slide it out in the same direction that it came out. It popped open. All right, so this one's a DDR4 RAM. This is an 8 gig, so you can grab another 8 gig and you can place it in here. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim. So it has to go this way in. So if you try to put it the other way around inside, it's simply not going to go through. All right, so doesn't matter if your RAM chips are on the side, on one side, it, that doesn't make any difference. Grab it in 45 degree angle, push it all the way towards the dim, make sure the contact is in there, and then push it towards the motherboard. You should here do two tricks, two clicks. You see, just like that. You want to install it on the other dim, same thing. Bring it in 45 degree, all the way towards the dim and towards the motherboard. Simply as that. I'll leave the link in the description for uh, compatible RAMs for this model. You can check the links on my video description. Once you have two, the board RAM is in there, all you need to do is to grab the cover. First put down the USB port and HDMI port side down first and push it down, make sure it does clicks. And then squeeze the front, bring it towards the back a little bit, and then push it towards the battery. Make sure you hit those clicks for those triggers at the back. And then just push down the rest. And once you open it up, you're going to see this tiny gap. Just pinch them together. You should hear those big, huge snapping. Do the same thing all the way towards the back corner. There's an opening in the corner here. Again, push it, squeeze them together, and there you go. Same thing. On the back by the battery, gently. Close it down, and the last thing is to putting down the bottom screws. And that should be all. If you guys have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video description, in the video comment area, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, you know what to do. And if you want to support the channel, just subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws right here.